I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the Good afternoon, everybody. We are gathered here in rather interesting circumstances to celebrate the graduation ceremony of the class of 2020. No one pictured it like this, but life is full of surprises, and we must make the best out of a bad situation. I am Jalen Parker, the senior class president, and I am honored to have the opportunity to speak today. I would like to thank all the parents, family, and friends for their love and constant support, as well as the members of Bryan County High School faculty and staff for their guidance and patience especially in a tough time such as this. We truly owe you all that we are. High school has been an unforgettable journey, to say the least, and I hope that it has prepared us for the future, whatever it may hold. The past three years have involved some very memorable and influential moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences here are unique, but together we share a common bond as members of the class of 2020 and soon to be graduates of the Bryan County High School. Although the ending was rough, I am filled with excitement and anticipation as the next stage of our lives is about to begin. We all have so much ahead of us. We are all so strong. Thank you for all of the memories, class of 2020. To old and new friends, to winning and losing games, to problems we had and didn't have, to all of us collectively helping each other hide McDonald's from administration, and to everything else in between, I wouldn't exchange this experience for anything else. Again, thank you for your time and thank you for your love and support. And never forget, once a Redskin, always a Redskin. Good afternoon. I'm Mary Beth Blankenship. I'm the proud principal of Bryan County High School. We're so excited that you are here to celebrate graduation day with our students. I would like to thank each and every parent, family member, friend, BCHS faculty and staff member, Dr. Brookshire and his staff, and our Board of Education for the role you have played in making this day possible in the lives of our students to help them reach this milestone. 
I'd like to acknowledge the Bryan County High School faculty and staff, counselors for all they've done to make this day possible. A special thank you to Ms. Jacqueline Scott, Dr. Marcy Smith, and Ms. Melanie Walker and our graduation team for organizing and planning this momentous occasion. I'd like to recognize some very special guests that are here to celebrate with you today. Ms. Liz Raver, the principal at Bryan County Middle School, Mr. Jeff Hodges, the principal at Bryan County Elementary School, Ms. Allison Holcomb, the assistant principal at Bryan County Elementary School, Dr. Eileen Emerson, the principal at Lanier Primary School, and Ms. Teresa Reed, the assistant principal at Lanier Primary School. Thank you for being here to celebrate with us today, and thank you for the role that you've played in the lives of these young men and women to help them reach this point. Class of 2020, I want to speak to you for just a moment and share a few words of encouragement. This has been an unbelievable year. Who knew in August when school started that there would be a worldwide pandemic that would change the way we do school for the last nine weeks of the year? Who knew that we would not be able to have athletic events, prom, our senior picnic, senior walkthroughs, and our cap and gown through our elementary schools, graduation practice, and even our traditional graduation ceremony? It was a tough reality and a difficult pill to swallow, causing great stress and anxiety among many. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just experienced life. As you leave this campus as a graduate and step out into the real world to experience a lot life as a young adult, you will find life happens, the good and the challenging. Things do not always go the way we want or the way we plan. Proverbs 16.9 says, we can make our plans, but the Lord will direct our steps. The takeaway for us all through this experience is that we learn and grow so when life challenges come our way in the future, we are prepared. We can use what we've learned through this life experience to help us and help others through the next life challenge. When I reflect back on life experiences, I can honestly say that through those difficult times, I learn things that would help me in the future, but it would also allow me to help others who have those experiences. I do not know what your future holds, but I assure you at some point in time, something will happen to you and, you will, and what you have learned through this experience will help you help yourself, but it will also help you help others. 2 Corinthians 1.4 states that God comforts us during our troubles so that when others have trouble, we can comfort them. We've had trouble through this experience, that's for sure. But now you'll be able to take your life experiences and relate to others, empathize with them, and help them when they have a similar life experience. Because you know why? Because you've been there. You've experienced this. You know how to handle it. You know what it's like. You know how it feels. Life is going to happen. You will be ready to help others and help yourself. Finally, I want to encourage you today to enjoy the journey because that's what life is. Remember, every day is a gift. Make it count. Appreciate the little things. A cool breeze. A good night's sleep. A kind deed. A sunrise or a sunset. Be grateful for those little things that God gives you each and every day, and then he'll give you even more to appreciate. Finally, don't buy in to never and forever. Things do not last forever. And never believe things can never change because they can and they will. Keep your dreams alive, believe in yourself, and go make a difference in the world around you. Congratulations, Bryan County High School, Class of 2020. Hi everybody. Before I begin, I'd like to thank the school staff, teachers, and parents. I think we all had expectations of what 2020 would look like. Maybe you imagined what it would be like on the day of our graduation. I know I did. Walking across the stage, trying not to trip, looking to see who would show up and celebrate your success. Or maybe you were imagining the trips you'd go on this summer or dorm shopping with your college roommate. I know you might feel like you've been dealt an unfair hand, that you've been cheated. COVID took away our graduation, prom, summer vacations, spring sports seasons, and the list goes on. I can't imagine that any of us will not have PTSD every time we hear the term six feet or social distancing. However, rather than feeling cheated, I ask you to take a moment and focus on what this pandemic has helped us to gain. Most of us were able to spend some really valuable time with our families prior to transitioning into our adult lives. We made some totally awesome TikTok videos, definitely a worthy accomplishment. 
and many of us were able to find ways to truly help others. I recently saw a quote that said, you do not drown by falling into a river, you drown by staying submerged in it. I challenge each of you that despite being thrown into the so-called COVID river, raise your head above the water and take this opportunity to live your best life. Take advantage of all the gifts God has given you and let no opportunity pass you by. Reach out, leave a positive impact. We are all experiencing the same thing and we're all in this together. I believe in each of you and your abilities, so go Redskin Class of 2020 and lead an amazing life. Hello out there to all you Redskins. My name is Levi Doyle and it is an honor to be able to speak to you today. I'd like to give out a big congratulations to all the Bryan County High School graduates and an even bigger thank you to all the staff, family, and friends that helped us all to get to this point. Many of us took diverging paths across our high school careers. Some of us may have committed to sports, decided to dual enroll like me, or maybe even just went with the flow. No matter what path you took, you likely had to face some difficult challenges. Whether it's preparing for a difficult match, writing an impossibly long essay, or maybe even going through a challenging personal experience, we all had to work hard and keep our hopes high to persevere. But now the effort has all paid off, and we're all much different people than we were in the 8th grade. However, the challenges do not end here. Life always finds a way to put road bumps in your path as you cruise along. You can't prevent the inevitable hardships, but you can always be ready for them. As you continue to persevere, each problem you face will only make you more ready for the next. Just two months ago, none of us would have even imagined the world changing as radically as it has. However, just like we have made it through all the years of school, we'll make it through this chaotic and uncertain time. Whether your next step after graduation is college, work, or maybe even just sleeping in every day, let the challenges you've overcome in the past inspire and empower you to take on the future with a smile. I'd like to give a big congratulations again to all the graduates. Each one of you has worked hard and deserves to be here. I hope you will use the lessons that you've learned about academics, friendship, family, and passion to enhance your lives and the ones of those around you. I also hope that you will remember the people who helped you become the person that you are. Thank you, and go Redskins! Levi Branson Doyle. Haley Nicole Hanna. Sophia Nicaza. Natasha Yvette McGee. Heaven, Lee, Lord.
Jalen Elizabeth Parker. Philip Owen Covington. Michael Lane. Madeline Delaney Duvall. Christian Paul Hilliard. Armand Alec Lee Popke. Susanna Nicole Bradish. Person. Dale Joel Wilson. Adrian Jaquan Reese. Amanda Diane Hendricks. Hunter Lucian Brooks. Dejon Lee Anderson. Victoria Nicole Burns. Jadarius Tydre Porter.
Zania Miana Reeves. Syntasia Janice Jones. Gerardo Miguel Escamilla. Jonathan Tristan Wells. Cecil Justin Gaddis. Celine Anne Marie Green. Nicholas Nash Godwin. Austin Cody Boggs. Chase Austin Taylor. Nicholas Ethan Joyner.
Carson Gage Hughes. Alicia Amia Ayanle Eason. Colby Ames Down. Blaze Avery Lanier. Kayla Ann Kors. Johnny Nicholas Penny.
Mason Allen Triggers. Kovia Shanice Goldwire. Dave Claude Cannon. Jonathan George Halex. Stephen Ross. Calhoun. Paige Craven. William Terry Gibson. Jacob Dylan Barnes.
Davis Aaron Elijah. Noah Joseph Ron. McKinley Allison Dowd. Jakeem Devante Harper. Hunter Grant Lee. Cooper Ray. Deandra, Carmen, Tierra, Chiru.
Madam Shane Sitton. Jeremy Lee Chasro. Patience Thryn Oliver. Samantha Lynn Hovis. Cameron Edward Huggins. Grayson Riley Tillman.
Aiden, Irby, Levy. Daryl Lamar, Benjamin Irvin. Kaylin Christine McHugh. Blake Andrew Hart. Willa Jemaya Beasley. Sarah Paige Moyer. David Ryan Lieber. Brooklyn Renee Hewitt. Alyssa Proceed Williams. Gabriel Dennis Stewart. Sierra Elizabeth Morgan.
Cedric and Trill Williams. Kelsey Madison Leggett. Alexis Jade Lewis. Alexis Minus. Hannah Nicole Miller. Adrian Nicole Kennedy. Albert Mitchell Rowland. Dalton James Lee Newmans Sean Michael Wells Beyonce Rawls.
Kumari Daquin Potter. Olson Lee Story. Angel Christiana Smiley. Stacy Isabel Stoddard. Jawan Tyree Richardson. Kayla Samis Mutcherson. Danielle Owens.
McKenna Elizabeth Walden. Brendan Stanley Palmer. Dominique Malik Seaborough. Anaya Talia Johnson Cody Alexander Woods. Nadesha Tanay Shields. Sierra Danae Smith. Michael Joseph Minor Sarber the third.
Christian Tyler Stewart. Courtney Lynn Smith. Sean Jaquis Smith. Daytron Deontay Sanders. As your superintendent, I am honored to stand before the Bryan County High School Senior Class of 2020 as you navigate an unprecedented worldwide pandemic and experience a once in a lifetime graduation ceremony. With the authority vested in me by the Bryan County Board of Education and the state of Georgia, I hereby proclaim that the persons before me are graduates of Bryan County High School with all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining to you may now move your tassel to the left side. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Bryan County High School graduating class of 2020. Congratulations and good luck. Good afternoon, class of 2020. On behalf of your leadership team at Bryan County High School, we have a story for you to celebrate graduation and to send you off to great places. I bet you've heard of this story before. It's by Dr. Seuss. It's called Oh, the places you'll go. So let's begin. Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own. And you know what you know. And you're the guy that will decide where you go. You'll look up and down streets. Look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, You'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. 
You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to great heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump. And the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. And slumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite. Or go back and sneak in from behind. Simply it's not, I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward a both most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flap flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go, there is fun to be done. There are points to be scored, there are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll be playing against you. All alone. Whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that are scary, that scare you right out of your pants. Then there are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul, on you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hack and cracks howl. Onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step. Set with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And you will succeed. Yes, you will indeed. 98% and three-fourths guaranteed. Kid, you're going to move mountains. So, be your name Boxbum or Bixby or Bray, or Mordecai Ali Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. 
So get on your way. Congratulations, class of 2020. Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations, class of 2020.